So hello everyone, welcome back to another one of my vlogs. So today I have a super exciting video for you guys. So if you haven't seen any of my previous videos, he has been in a temporary cage ever since I brought him back from the vet. So if you guys haven't actually seen that video, I'll have it linked on screen now and I'll also have it linked in the description. So you might want to go ahead and watch those videos first and then come back to watch this one. So then it makes a bit more sense. Um, and I'm actually posting this video a little bit later than I usually would. Um, normally I post my my videos in order but this time this video is actually going to be like three videos behind so today is wednesday and i'm going to watford on friday go to the harry potter studio tour to charlie and then i'm going to be coming back home on sunday um but before i post this video i would have already posted my watford vlogs so you'll see in this video like a bit later on than you should have done if that makes any sense to you guys i thought i would start off by showing you guys the items that i've picked out um to go in the cage so i want to try and use as many of these as possible so over here we have these wooden pieces too and i love using them in natural themes um we've also got a few little hideaways here and um, we've got this like tapey one and then we have this coconut one which is super cute this is one pets at home and then there's also this grassy little thing which my hamsters never actually go in um but it just looks really cute in the cage i think this is one pets at home as well um this is the small ball rush ball also from pets at home um i have this wooden chew that i've never actually used before i took it out of the packet today i've had it for a little while and i don't even remember where i got this from here we've got these three pieces which make a bridge probably one of my favorite items here we've got my living world um, water bottle and water bottle stand um i really want to get a new stand because this one is ruined because of like the water and stuff i have two and they're both um a little bit ruined now so i think i might actually get another one but they are a little bit expensive they're like 10 pound per stand and the um water bottle is like five pound each and next we have this tube which i am planning on um like burying it I also have this wooden item which i got from like a pet shop near me a few years ago this is super cute as well so you can either lay it like this or you can have it standing up um <laughs> i have four bendy bridges i don't know how i ended up before um i'm going to be really careful when placing these in the cage because a couple of weeks ago um loki actually got his foot stuck in it um he got one of his um back legs stuck in between one of these bendy bridges he started squeaking really loudly so i rushed over to the cage and his leg was stuck um he was absolutely fine there wasn't any damage or anything it was only caught for a couple of seconds but it was quite scary be careful when you have them set up like this their feet can easily get stuck in there so just be careful um we also have this wheel which i always use it's from um pets at home and it's seven and a half inches i believe we have this resin hideaway which is another one of my favorite items and then we have this smaller one here so these are the two ceramic items i'm going to be using um this hamster um food dish i always use this one when i do natural um themes and i actually sell this on my website it comes in three different colors my website is called tiny hamster paws and i sell like small animal supplies like treats cage accessories and stuff I have it linked below in the description as always so i'm going to be using this as a food dish and then i've also picked out this dish which i like to use as a sand dish it's the perfect size so next i just have this piece of driftwood this was quite expensive i ordered it online um and i got this teeny weeny piece so i'm no longer going to be ordering driftwood online i think this was from pets at home um i also have this tube I've given this when i did a hamster swap a couple of years ago with my friend abby um and this is a really really nice um tube it does look really really small but surprisingly all of my dwarves have been able to fit through here um even loki fits through it perfectly fine this is actually something i received in the post about an hour ago recently it's been really really hot the other day it was like 40 degree and the hot weather can be awful um for small animals so i ordered him this and this is to help cool him down so it's this little tile so when he lays on it it's really nice and cool this wooden item you guys probably haven't seen it on my channel unless you've seen my old old videos with my um with my syrian hamster isabella so this is a um, um, so this is a wooden house I believe it's by Trixie and I haven't used this in years so the lid just comes off like this and it has a few different compartments Loki doesn't actually sleep in any hideaways he likes to sleep out in the open he builds his nest 
in the corner out in the open he just doesn't sleep inside any hideaway i don't really know if he's actually going to use this to sleep in um but i'm just hoping he doesn't start peeing on it he does usually pee on his will it's quite good for me because then it's easy to clean and there's another thing that i recently uh received a couple of days ago it's so cute i had been eyeing this for a while so this is by Trixie and look how adorable this is. So this um, house can come off which is good so you can see what your hamster is actually doing in there. And at the bottom it has a little swing. I don't know if Loki's actually going to use that but I just thought this was so cute and I don't really have anything that's on a like level or anything like that but I'm just hoping it's not too high in the cage to the point where Loki can like climb out of it if you guys didn't know already i've actually released a range of my own chew toys and um cage accessory and this is the chew toy i'm not sure if i'm going to use this in the cage today but i'm definitely going to try and incorporate this hanging toy because it's just adorable now that i've shown you all the cage accessories and stuff that i'm going to be using i'm going to go ahead and show you the different substrates that i'm going to be using in this cage today i would go ahead and show you guys the two treats that i'm going to be using to scatter around in the cage um so these are from wilco and i thought this would be great to just sprinkle on the bed this first one is dandelion and greeno it literally just has two ingredients in this one um and this just looks really nice so i'm looking forward to trying this out. and then we've also got the nature salad now this one has quite a few different ingredients in there as you can see there's quite a lot um, and this mix has like flowers and all that kind of stuff in there i also decided to get some hay i don't normally use hay i thought i would get this bag to try it out i think it would look really nice in the cage and i also want to layer it with the wood shavings um because i feel like it looks really nice i see a lot in german styled cages um because their cages are absolutely incredible and i would love to do like a proper german style cage one day. sometimes i see um hay or grass layered with um wood shavings i always thought it was for decoration but apparently it's so that the tunnels can hold a bit better when your um, hamster's digging. And lastly, this is the sand that I'm going to be testing out for the first time. It's by a brand called Komodo. I've tried a few different substrates from this um, brand before and I really, really like them. So I thought I would go ahead and test out this sand. So I'm really, really, really excited to try this out. So I'm going to actually spray down the cage um, first before I start setting it up. But this is a brand I have been wanting to try out for a little while. They're called Method. And this is their anti-back all-purpose cleaner and this is in the scent wild um, rhubarb this is a really good brand because their products are actually really safe to use around animals because a lot of cleaning products they can be quite harmful i was going to get the mint one but the only one they had was the wild rhubarb so also to use with the spray i picked up these cloths from um, tesco i think it was only like a pound and you get four large cloths I'm going to go ahead and start um, disinfecting the cage <laughs> So I've just finished using this uh, method spray. It is quite sickly, which is why I really wanted to um, get the mint one, but I just can't seem to find it in any stores near me and it's really overpriced online. me put in some pieces of cardboard um underneath the detail I've done that to help support the glass my cage doesn't actually sit um flat on the drawers so ever since i've had that cage i've had to put pieces of cardboard to help support it so i'm gonna actually put this in the cage first so i want to have this in the corner um it is quite high as i said earlier so i'm hoping that loki won't be able to actually climb out of the cage but i'm planning on having this in this corner over on this side is where i want to have the deep bed in
setting up the cage for Loki like two hours ago but I've just been um, tidying up and I also took Loki out of his temporary cage and cleaned that as well and the items inside it. So this is an overview of the cage. I never really have any green stuff when I do a natural themed cage so to see all of this green it's really really nice and it kind of adds to it quite a bit so i'm not too sure how i feel about this sand up here we have two food dishes so in one compartment there's some tissue and then in this bit here there's some substrate he's got a piece of red millet spray at the back i recently added um red millet onto my website so i've got this uh, little rock hideaway and inside i've decided to put the ceramic plate so here we've got one of my hanging shoes this was the one i was trying to show you guys earlier but you can see a little bit better now that it's actually hanging up um this looks really 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 nice in the cave this hideaway thing i did say i was going to put it in the corner um but i decided to go ahead and put it in the middle of the cage just to make it a bit more interesting put this little grass thing in the corner i usually always end up shoving it in a corner somewhere over here we have this uh resin hideaway this is the big one we've got a bit of driftwood there the coconut hideaway which looks pretty nice sitting there got his water bottle i've already filled up the water um, in this corner here we've got some yellow millet and then I've just put this uh, bendy bridge because I had to put at least one bendy bridge in the cage and then here you can see I've got the other piece of wood so that's everything that's in this deep section and I've also added in a little tube down there I'm not sure how long it's going to take Loki to actually discover that because um, when he was in his other cage he was in there for about a week and there were still parts of it that he didn't actually discover but now this cage is even more interesting it's probably going to take him a little while here because i still have quite a lot of stuff to do today i've got a bunch of orders to sort out if you want to stay up to date with um information about loki and my shop then definitely go and follow me over on instagram so bye for now guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video